right, so good reach forward. Uh, body is pretty streamlined. Looks like breathing is comfortable. Your head isn't uh, coming up too high when you turn to breathe or anything like that. And you got pretty good rotation. Or uh, streamlined slash rotation. They're somewhat the same. Kick. Kick looks okay. Kick looks like you can use uh, a, maybe just a stronger four beat kick if you're gonna if you're gonna do that. Right there, you have a very leisurely four beat kick, which from a triathlon perspective is not a bad idea. My thought is that one of those down kicks on each leg should be a little stronger, though. So you're doing a pretty good job of pulling all the way through the stroke and uh, that's a nice high elbow recovery. With the forward reach it looks like you're entering right in front of your head and then you can see how that left arm is crossing over. So with that left especially you want that to go directly in front of your shoulder as opposed to your head. So left arm, left hand goes in front, left shoulder. Uh, right hand goes in front of the right shoulder. All right, and then you can see pretty good rotation with your torso and pretty good extension. What's going on with your strokes is that this is like a, a perfect straight arm pulling pattern, meaning that you're, there's, there's zero uh, or very little bend from the hand and forearm relative to the upper arm as you pull through the strokes. So the issue there is that that first third of the stroke approximately is really just kind of pushing water down and it's not till you get you know a third of the way in that you're starting to really pull water back. So the high elbow catch or the early vertical forearm is the the style you want to migrate towards <clears throat> excuse me that's gonna be a lot of one arm drilling uh, some just flexibility working on your flex shoulder flexibility uh, doggy paddle drill if you recall that one fist drill and then maybe investing in some tech paddles or the forearm fulcrum both of those tools work roughly the same way and then the line you're pulling back is good so you're pretty much staying outside the body and then getting a little bit of the internal as you rotate that's that's a good line of pull so stroke wise your major fix is <clears throat> just the the catch angle so at this point you would want to see that hand and forearm starting to angle down while the upper arm is still forward and we see that there's very little difference in the line of your upper arm and your forearm And that, that first half of the stroke is really where you have more power because it's a pulling motion rather than a, a pushing motion. Once you go past a halfway point, you're pushing more with your tricep. In the front of the stroke, you're pulling with your lat and some pec and some bicep and some tricep. You, you do have a, a little room for improvement with the reach forward if you can really close that shoulder into your ear when you're reaching that'll make you slightly more streamlined and then your left arm is pretty similar in that your forearm and upper arm are in the same line I would get the, the paddles, the tech paddle or the forearm fulcrum and, and do a lot of work with that um, and one arm drill and watch what your stroke is doing hope this helps